Nice. Okay, so that ability is working in my favor. I'm stopping everybody behind me because I'm using the undead ability. Ah! To keep them stuck behind me. But they gotta actually be behind me in order for it to work. Okay, wait. I heard them go past, but they just barely went past me. They, Where did they go? They disappeared. They could not have gone this far. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so the game totally just cheated. They totally te teleported. You saw that, right? Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Last time we unlocked Zombie. I keep hearing this bell tolling up here on top by the by the garage, and I don't know where it's coming from, so I want to go find it. Is it up here, I wonder? It must, must be up here, right? That's where it keeps coming from, up here. Let's go find out. I, I think I've already driven around all over up here, though. There it is. That's the tower right over there. Uh, no, I can't get to it from here. <laughs> That's the tower right over there, though. How do we get to it? Okay, so back down on the main level, there's a drawbridge over here. Go across the drawbridge. There's the tower, the bell tower. Okay, what's this thing, I wonder? Uh, let's run into it, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> lost my hand. So that's it, that's what's donging, but what what's making it ring when I'm not running into it? Oof. And what is its purpose other than just to ring the bell? I don't know. I drove all around this bell tower and I found nothing. So I have no idea what the purpose of this bell tower is. Let's get started with this chapter. Chapter 19, Walk the Plank. Here we go in Toronto, head to head. Who are we going to go against in our first round? We're going to be going against Blue Thunder. That's a cool truck. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. Nice. So we've got kind of an elongated circle on both ends. I don't know if I need to go slow over that bump or not. It doesn't really look like it because it's a straightaway right after the big hump, so... I think we can make a big jump as long as we line up good. Whoa! That was good. That was good. And we're catching up to Blue Thunder. He didn't do too big of me. Oh, see now, if I don't line up, then I go flying off course and I have to restart. Blue Thunder's going really slow. Either my difficulty... Either the difficulty's too low... <laughs> Change, exchange some paint there. Either my difficulty is too low or my experience level, my own personal experience level has gone up to the point where these head-to-heads are just really easy. Up and over, finish, first place. And we lapped him. We did really good. Zombie. Next up, we're going to be going against Captain's Curse. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start yet again. Up and over. Wow, the crowd just went really quiet. <laughs> I don't know if they didn't like my jump there, or they were just <gasps> looking out. Yeah, there we go. They're cheering me on there. Nice. And we're catching up to Captain's Curse. We're going to lap him. Ha! Land right on top of him. <laughs> oh, come on. I wasn't off track that much. The tolerance is really low for being off track. Ha! <laughs> See you later, pal. I know you can't see me because I don't have my camera on, but I'm doing the little zombie arms coming after Captain's Curse. One more half lap. Here we go. We're almost there. 
Round and round we go. Up and over. First place win. <laughs> Third and final round going against Pirate's Curse this time. Ooh, he's so cool. I think Pirate's Curse and Zombie are definitely the most elaborate looking trucks in Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And the hands coming out after you. Ah, come on, I wasn't off track. One lap out of the way. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, come on. Get back up. <laughs> no. Sure, I go off course. Really? I go off track half a millimeter and it resets me, but I go flying off track and it says, nope, you got to get back up. My gosh. I think, oh, no, we're in second place now. Oh, no. <laughs> this always happens to me, too. I get a little bit behind and I start losing focus okay so we're only half a second no oh, come on <laughs> well I, I think we lost this round <laughs> yeah he just finished that's okay no he hasn't finished yet but I don't think we're gonna be able to catch up to him that's okay that's okay now he's finished. He's in first place. <laughs> That's a cool finish. Yeah, like I said, I get I get a little backwards when I start start to get uh, anxious, you know, start to mess up. It's all right. We're second overall in the in the standings, and we're moving on to our second event, freestyle. And I'm usually pretty good at freestyle events. There's that another look at zombie, the hair hanging off and the torn up clothes. Three, two, one, go! Nice zone freestyle, of course. We just want to do as many tricks as we can. Oh, okay. That counted as a slap wheelie. I thought that was more of a sky wheelie, but... Judges say slap wheelie. I would not have called that a power out. But that was a good big air. Let's do some backflip. Nice. How about another one? Not quite. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they'll give me a stop before it. That works. Let's get some more big air. Oh, no, I missed the beacon. Oh, well. How about we do a backflip off the tires? Oh, not quite a backflip. Uh, there's a wheelie there. Now that I would have called a power out, but they didn't call it a power out. Good wheelie. I got some... Good air there. They're giving me all kinds of wheelies. Crutch cars. Now there is an achievement. Nice. To get up to an 11 times combo. And I have never come close to 11 times combo. I would like to work on achievements later though. Maybe after we finish world career mode we can work on some achievements. Have a good donut a cyclone. I it's pretty easy to keep my combo meter up and going, but they don't give me very many points. And, and man, when you when you get up there like five and six times combos, the combo meter just runs out so fast. I don't know how to maintain it to keep going with that to get the 11 times combo. But anyway, we're, our run is almost done. Slap wheelie, big air, nice. We are in first place. We've had a pretty good run overall. We got a little bit of bonus time. Let's see what we can do. Gave me a stoppy for that. That's good. Let's see, maybe we can get another. Good, we got the beacon. Let's just go around and collect some beacons here. Get some big air off this. Maybe we can get that beacon. Not quite. Oh, nine times combo. Not too bad, not too bad. Very good, first place in that event. I think we're still second place overall though. Let's go through the final event. It's a waypoint, the Cursed Coast. Traditionally, I do not do good on these waypoints, especially here in the Haunted Forest. These are just hard. 
go. Perfect start. Oh, man, we've got two other undeads. We've got both the pirate crew with us, which means they're going to be using that little fart ability and slowing us way down. Oh, man, and this hill is just a slog to get up. Get out of the way, everybody. There's just no room to get around them, and, and especially with that undead ability, which slop, stops people behind you. Ah, there we go. Now I can use it on higher education. Let's go for this big jump. Nice. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> we'll just stop everybody right there. You're all stuck. Nice. Okay, so that ability is working in my favor. I'm stopping everybody behind me because I'm using the undead ability ah! to keep them stuck behind me. But they got to actually be behind me in order for it to work. Okay, wait. I heard them go past, but they just barely went past me. They Where did they go? They disappeared. They could not have gone this far. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay, so the game totally just cheated. They totally te teleported. You saw that, right? They totally just teleported right in front of me. That is so cheating. Man. Yeah, now I'm in sixth place. Great. Thanks a lot. I mean, I know they got ahead of me a little bit, but not that much. Oof. Ugh. Okay, these waypoints are hard enough without cheating computers. All right, I got to get over it. All right. Come on, let's catch up to him. Over the boardwalks. Ah, man, these tracks are just so narrow. Ah! And there's so much debris on the tracks, too. This is better. We'll get on the main track and there's a little more space, but there's, there's only a few more waypoints left to get. They are way out ahead of me now. Ah. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to win this one. <laughs> ah. Off into paths unknown. Oh, man. Okay. Here we go. All right. We've got a chance to catch up a little bit. No. Come on. I think this is this is gonna be it though. This is the last waypoint. And I am so far behind. Oh, there we go. Now I guess it wasn't the last one. I've got a few more left. Right up and over through that tree. Hey, that, that brought me some time. That's nice. That was a good little shortcut. Here we go. <laughs> Earthshaker's having some trouble. There we go. That's going to do it right there. <laughs> Ended up in fifth place, but that's okay. Second place overall... Oh, man, that's a bummer. But I did unlock the truck for this uh, chapter, which is good. Got a little bit of level ups for Zombie. What did we get? Pirate's Curse. Very cool. That's a nice looking truck. It looks a lot like Captain's Curse, of course, because they're of the same uh, group of people, but... All right, hey, let's go find Zombie's Secret World Collectible. But hey, do me a favor. If you've been enjoying this video, smash that like button. It really does help the channel out a lot. It helps these videos get out to more people. With that out of the way, let's get moving and go find Zombie's Hidden Collectible. So let me tell you, getting Zombie's Hidden World Collectible is an involved process. If finding Earthshaker's Collectible was the toughest collectible to get in the game, then Zombies is definitely the longest and most involved collectible to get in the game. There is a huge process involved in getting it. But first thing we need to do is we need to come over to this section of the map over here. 
So we want to drive up into this small track up here, off to the left. And once we get up onto the small track, we want to take the little shortcut right over here to the left. And then basically this is just going to cut us off to the northern part of the track. And over here, there is a little monster truck graveyard. But this graveyard is not for zombie. It is for somebody else. What we want, and you can see it off in the distance there, is a hand coming out of the ground. Go up and over that little jump. Once we get to this hand, it's a zombie hand sticking out of the ground. After a few seconds, the zombie hand makes a crazy sound. It sounds a lot like a Power Ranger or something like that. But we can just leave. Well, after the music starts and finishes, we can just leave that out the way we came. And we're going to go back over to the graveyard, past that little monster truck graveyard where we were when we first came in. And you can see up in the sky, there's little red beacons. Uh, kind of just shining light up into the sky. And we are going to hit every single one of those. There's five all together. Each one of them is a hand that's coming out of the ground. And we're going to start off with this one over here. It's kind of in the northwest corner of the map. Uh, drive down... And same thing's gonna happen once we get to this hand. The music's gonna play. And again, we're just gonna leave the way we came in. And as we leave, there's actually a world collectible. Woohoo! Right there, and a bunch of pumpkins on the other side. And we kinda come down this way to this figure eight right here. And we cross. Oh, there's another world collectible up there. We're not going to get that one just yet, though. We are going to find this little pumpkin patch and get this hidden collectible right there. This is kind of floating off in the sky. And then there's more pumpkins off to the side over here. One of the things that I've learned collecting all of zombies little hands coming out of the ground is if you see a pumpkin patch generally speaking there's a secret nearby <laughs> all right so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump and i don't know if you need a boost right there Oof. <laughs> but i boosted just in case it's off right there and then we're gonna jump down and we're gonna keep following this little ravine right here Eventually, we're going to come to this statue, and I think that's a Gravedigger statue. Probably for a Gravedigger unlock, but it's not for a zombie. That's not for us. We're just going to keep following the path to the left over here. And eventually, guess what we come to? Yeah, that's right. More pumpkins. <laughs> but eventually, you'll come to a spot where there's a hidden, or a, not a hidden collectible, but a world collectible. I missed it. Make sure that you line yourself up right to collect it, because I missed it. But that's okay. So you just kind of keep following the path straight ahead, and eventually you'll come to this church. And you go down the church, and you jump off, and there's another collectible right there. There's so many collectibles on this path. After you get the collectible from the church, kind of make a big U-turn, come right back around, and you'll see this bridge with some pumpkins on it. And you want to hang a left and kind of go straight ahead up and over the ground right here. And you keep following this little waterway and eventually you'll work your way around and there is another hand. So after that hand, go back out the way you came. We're almost done. That's four out of five. You can go back over to that bridge, kind of climb up over the bridge, keep following this little trail that's underneath the, the church there. As you go around, eventually you'll come to some more pumpkins. 
And like I said, where there's pumpkins, there's a secret nearby. So many pumpkins. And then there's another pumpkin patch. Just follow it around. And eventually you'll come to this spot where you get another world collectible. And up there on the left, that's the final hand. And I'm not sure exactly the best way to get up there, but this is the way that I took. I kind of hung a left right here off the bridge. I don't think that's quite the right way to go. But eventually you'll kind of work your way up the ramp. There's a little ramp that kind of leads up to the hand. There it is. And that is the last hand. And there is the beacon off there to the right. Yep, right there. And you just kind of fall down and you drive up the hill. And boom, there you go. That is Zombies Collectible. Boy, I tell you, that was sure complicated, but it was a lot of fun. All right, that's gonna be all the time we've got for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there should be another video on the screen right now that YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy. And we will see you on the flip side. Later.